we begin in Malaysia, where former Prime Minister Najib Razak's biggest trial over the 1MDB scandal kicked off today. Lead prosecutor Gopal Sri Ram has accused Najib of abusing his power to cover his tracks in the theft of hundreds of millions of dollars from the state fund. For instance, he accuses Najib of creating fake documents to say he received donations from Saudi royalty when the money actually originated from 1MDB. The 66-year-old denies all the charges. Melissa Go has more. Now, more than three years after the multi-billion dollar scandal involving state investment fund 1MDB first broke, a Malaysian high court is finally hearing about the 681 million US dollars that allegedly went into ex-Prime Minister Najib Razak's accounts. Now, in his opening statement on Wednesday before Judge Colin Sequeira, former Judge Gopal Sriram, who's now leading the prosecution, said it's all an elaborate charade by Najib and his associates. The Penang on businessman Joe Lo was his alter ego, his mirror image. They both acted as one, and the prosecution will prove through direct and circumstantial evidence that Najib has the menstrual, the intention to defraud and siphon hundreds of millions of dollars to enrich himself. Now, Najib, the lead prosecutor, said later covered his tracks to evade justice, including forging documents that allegedly came from Arab donors and interfered with investigations. Now, Najib, the ex-Prime Minister, looked somber in court today and did not speak to the media. Now, his lawyer, Shafi Abdullah, speaking after the first day of trial ended, insisted that the client is innocent. Now, fugitive Jolo, he said, is the real culprit. Let's listen in. Jolo himself has misled many people, misled the bank, misled 1MDB, misled even when 1MDB was TIA. We will raise all this, yeah? So, to say that my client is the alter ego, I want to see them proving it. My client believed honestly that he came from the Saudi uh, king because he met the Saudi king and there was that promise of one billion. And money did come in into his account. So that is our defense. We have always said that it's not a secret. Now, for this case, Najib is charged with 21 counts of money laundering and four counts of abusing his position for gratification. Now, if found guilty, he can be jailed between 15 to 20 years for each count. Now, 60 witnesses, including three foreigners, have been lined up by the prosecution. Now, key witnesses include several former chairmen and the CEO of 1MDB. The case resumes Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.